General Motors uh, posting quarterly results earlier this morning. Phil Abo joins us right now with the automaker CFO. Phil. Thank you, Andrew. Let's bring in Divya Surya Devra from GM's headquarters in Detroit. Uh, Divya, you guys beat the street by a wide margin in the third quarter, but clearly the UAW strike had an impact on Q3 earnings and your guidance for Q4. Is the total, when you add it all up, about $2.9 billion for the strike impact? Yeah, I'd say, Phil, the, it was a very strong quarter, as you point out. Um, the uh, strike, as you point out, had an, imp had an imp impact as well, which was $0.52 cents for the quarter and $2 in EPS for the year. Uh, but really, what's, uh, what, we, what we should focus on is the underlying performance in North America was uh, strong, driven by our crossovers, as well as the truck performance. And um, from a strike perspective, while we had an impact, the underlying business continues to remain strong. Divya, you now have all of your plants running at full production. How long will it take for you guys to make up for the lost production from this strike that lasted 39 days? Yeah, Phil, we're building every unit that we can. Um, the plants are up and running. And uh, from a calendar year standpoint, um, since we're already running uh, these plants at uh, pretty full capacity, I think there's going to be limited opportunities to make it up. And going into next year, we're going to take every opportunity that we can, whether it's weekends or holidays or uh, appropriate uh, overtime, to uh, try and make up these units. And that's going to depend on the industry levels as well moving into next year. But uh, assure you, we're building every unit where we can. Does that mean it might take well into the first quarter, maybe even to the second quarter, to make up that lost production? I think, as, as I said, uh, from a truck perspective, we're already running at full, full uh, uh, capacity, and we're going to have to see how the industry plays out in 2020. Divya, are you guys now better positioned in case there is a recession in the next year or a dramatic drop-off in auto sales for the entire industry? Because you've closed these three plants or are in the process of doing that, are you better positioned as an automaker uh, if there is a recession? We have had robust downturn planning for several years now and thinking about what are the levers that we would pull and how would we adjust our volumes to respond to what's happening in the marketplace. And that remains intact. We have said we're going to break even at around 10 to 11 million units in the U.S. And uh, we're going to continue to do that. And we're running the bus business with cost discipline to ensure that we're able to navigate through a cycle. And that has not changed. Divya Surya Devra, the CFO of General Motors, joining us from the company's headquarters on a day, guys, where they beat the street by a wide margin, a buck seventy-two a share. Most on the street were expecting them to earn just a buck thirty-one.